Tributes and eulogies continue to pour in for the legendary Majek Vishek, who passed away in New York on the 1st of June, 2020, after a long battle with cancer and some other ailments. Some old associates, including another reggae legend, Oritz Willicky, and dance hall star, Felix Duke, speak with Entertainment News on Channel's television about the life, influence, and musical genius of the Fashek, who died at the age of 57. As the world continues to mourn the passing on of reggae music icon, Majeko Dumi Fasheke, popularly known as Majek Fashek. Colleagues from the Rastafarian community has been recounting on his life and his relationships with other friends and colleagues. Another veteran, Oritz Williki, fondly called Pupa by many in the industry, including Majek, recounts how he mentored the late singer. He used to come around, you know, then he, he was just trying to, you know, learn to play the guitars. You know, so uh, from there, also at NTA Bini, where I was, you know, featuring him in programs, you know, in uh, Music Panorama, a Youth Forum, himself and um, himself and uh, Amos Macro Jeg, you know, uh, you know. Ironically, after after the whole long journey, uh, we even were the one who did "Send Down the Rain" uh, and demo tape in the first one, the first song. Myself, uh, James Etino, and uh, Amos McCroy. So I just say this so that you know how long we have come. So I encouraged him to leave Bini, you know, to to Tabansi Records, where I was the A and manager at the time, you know, so that he can he can be recorded. So he was signed on to Tabansi Records, Lagos, where I was in the Nietzsche, you know. So basically, he's been my brother, you know. Willicky, before venturing into singing himself, served in various capacity in music production, and by his judgment, Fashek is one of the most talented musicians the black continent has ever seen. Majek that you, you see here, perhaps it's not the Majek that you, they, they, they want to see. They, they, they look at him as somebody who is in the equivalent of, 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 of Bob Marley when you mention his name in some places, you know, judging from his works. You know, but unfortunately, again, the system, you know, didn't just provide that such, you know, an, an enablement to 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 play, place him in the class of others. His works are, he's one of the greatest, one of the most talented Nigerian musicians you know ever created. You know, I worked on his project. You know, so I I, I sorry, Suliki didn't start out as Sorry Suliki releasing jobs. I, I started as as somebody behind the scene making others stars. I mean, I feel I feel comfortable with you know the success story. Uh, he lived a very fulfilled life, fulfilled life in the sense that um, whatever career anyone choose to follow, you know, um, your aim is to get at the at the, at the topest of the game, you know, which means that if he was a military personnel, he probably would be a field marshal or a full time general. Um, that is one side, but the sad part is that you wonder one, one who had lived all of that kind of uh, uh, mightiness would die in abject poverty. Uh, you know, this is a country where um, the owners of works, people who create works, who make people happy all the days of their, of their, of their youth, when, when they come old, we don't have pension. We don't have pension, fortunately, as an entertainer. So your pension is supposed to be your accrued realities of what you get, you know, from the works you have done. But in Nigeria, over the years, some group of people have hijacked that aspect of the sector into their own pockets. Dance hall music star Felix Duke, whose prepared genre took over when the shine on the reggae music in mainstream began to dim, also eulogizes the one also known as the Rainmaker. Majek was a very wonderful person, you know, and uh, Majek affected our lives positively. Majek affected his generation, affected our generation, affected the new generation positively with his songs, with his lyrics. You can relate to Majek's songs anytime, any day, spiritually physically, otherwise. In any way, you can relate to Majek's songs. Majek's songs are evergreen. You see, musicians don't die. Why musicians don't die? 
is because um, their songs never dies. Although the talented reggae music singer has passed on, these two emphasize that his legacy will live on through his evergreen songs. around Majek Fashek is undeniable even when the circumstances around his state of mind and mental health have been a subject of controversy. Even after the new millennium, Majek, who at some point had gotten to the top of the echelon of being an international star, showed up in Lagos as a shadow of himself, living on the streets, homeless, and begging for strangers for help. It was widely reported that he had indulged in drugs at that period, although he continued to maintain that his illness is more spiritual than drug related. I know I, I don't use drugs. I don't use cocaine. I don't use. Have you ever used drugs? Ever in my life. For real? Say that again. I never use cocaine. My problem is spirituality, magic. Thank you. Back in 2017, Entertainment News met with his old manager. Sunmonu Bello Osaji, who was with him during the highest moment when he signed for Interscope Records in America. He explained to us from his perspective the chain of events that kick-started his mental deterioration. I remember the video when Majek came. He is already a household in Nigeria. And when he came to the U.S., and we wanted him to come to the American market, the international scene, because he was not a local musician. He was a born talent. And we started doing all that we need to do playing most of the club trams here in Los Angeles, LA, San Diego, uh, Atlanta, everywhere. And we caught the attention of Jimmy Iovine, the president of Interscope Records. Interscope Records um, has through the Summit Dog, the 50 cents of this world and all that. But an average major, I use the word major recording company, will not sign an artist if he's not talented or he or she is not talented. So it was a bunch of talent. Now, fast forward to when we finally got the record deal. It was a, that was the So Long Too Long, which we call the Spirit of Love in American version. And um, great album, great tracks. I come from the ghetto, Magic Beware, So Long Too Long, a Spirit of Love, and, uh, and uh, a whole lot of other, other tracks in the album. But specifically to answer your question, the issue of magic detour, I use the word detour, did not start in the US. Because after our record, to show good faith, he decided to come to Nigeria. Even before we released the album, the album was supposed to be released in September. When we finished the album at Sigma Sound Studio in New York, Majek came home and we bought a lot of instruments. And a lot happened. Like I said, when he finally now came for us to promote the record, things were not the way it was before. Only God knew what happened.